Hi, and welcome to this training video. In this multi-part video series, we'll explore the button's routing system. Routing can be a tedious and mundane task to set up and operate, especially when you're working with a large number of sources and destinations. We've set out to simplify and speed up both the setup and operation by automating some tasks and simplifying others. The button's routing system is highly flexible and is not limited to only video and audio routing. You can control SWP08 routers, BMD Video Hub, ATEM switchers, NMOS devices, Dante Domain Manager, etc. But in the future, more routable connections will be added as well. In this first video, we'll take a look at the different user interfaces for the button's routing system and give you an overview of the names and labels used throughout the routing process. We'll start in the Connect UI. You may have noticed the blue router badge on some of your connections. This badge indicates that the connection is supported by the button's router system. You can also filter your view to show only supported connections by using the filter button here. By default, all sources and destinations from any supported connection added to your active connections will be automatically included in the button's router system. We will continue adding more supported connections over time. If you're using a device or a system that you think should be added, please email us at support at bitfocus.io or use the feedback option on the home screen. And please include your contact info so we can keep you updated or contact you for testing if needed. Let's start by taking a look at the ATEM Extreme connection. In the config UI of this connection, you'll find a router configuration section. This is where you can choose which inputs and outputs will be brought into the router system. Exactly how the config screen will look will differ from connection to connection. As a comparison, the Video Hub connection does not have any configuration options for the router system at all, but it's still supported. Now let's move on to the Ports and Bundles tab. Here, you'll get an overview of all the ports available for the connection. A port can be any source or destination. It might be a physical port, like an SDI connector, or an internal source or destination, like a media player or multi-viewer. Ports are the components that are routed and they are always part of a bundle, even if the bundle only contains one port. One source bundle could contain one video port and any number of audio ports that belong together, but might be routed individually if the equipment allows it. We'll dive deeper into that topic in a later video. Next, let's look at the routing UI, which contains several subpages. On the config page, you get a full overview of all bundles and ports in the routing system. You can sort and filter the list by source, destination, device, domain, or any column in the table. Any disabled connection will also be shown but will have a disabled badge on them. You can also expand bundles to see detailed port information. Under Labels, you can customize the labels that appear in the router section and other UIs. There are three user-definable labels for each port, and they will be shown in a hierarchical order from left to right. User being the highest order, and they will fall back according to the label strategy, if there is no label of the chosen type. In that way, you will always have a label for the port, and also ensuring that you don't need to fill in new labels for every port, if you only want to change the label on a small selection. You use the label strategy to determine the order of which label will be shown in the router section and other routing UIs. We'll explain this in more detail when we cover the router section in the next video. For now, this image gives you a look at how you can choose the label strategy. We'll go into the Route UI and Salvo UI in a separate video, but here's a quick preview. These interfaces let you perform routing directly in the button software UI. It will give you a better overview, easier sorting and filtering, and the ability to create salvos, which are routing presets that can be triggered with a single button press. You can also view, trigger, or edit stored salvos directly from the salvo view. And lastly, we'll jump into the position UI for a quick look at the router section. This is where you configure router control for users. By default, the router section shows all sources and destinations in the routing system. However, you can apply filters to narrow down the selection or configure it with a predefined list of sources and destinations. We'll dive deeper into this section in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part, where we'll take a closer look at how routing is performed in practice. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe for more training videos like this.